Hey guys, Katie from Mitzi Creek Farm, and today we are putting in Wi-Fi and cameras in our barn. So stay tuned to see how we're doing it. I know. We are running an outdoor waterproof variable cable, internet cable, ethernet cable, across our driveway and out to the barn. Now it's still snowy, icy, everything out there. So we can't bury it so we just have to run it across our driveway thankfully we can still access everywhere else because our driveway is a great big teardrop shape so we're just putting it on top and making sure that nobody drives on it so the plan is where we ran that from here in the house I did buy a Wi-Fi booster that's supposed to be wireless but I can't figure out how to actually hook it up so that it is wireless so the easiest solution for my brain was to buy this extra cable and run it out to the barn and hook the Wi-Fi booster up to that. So that is what the kids and Owen are doing right now. Once we get that done, then we're gonna get the Wi-Fi hooked up and working out there. We are um, putting up, setting up Wi-Fi out in our barn. We're running our outdoor strength wire. So we'll have to bury this this summer. So currently, our Wi-Fi is at the back of our house. And we are going to take and run a cable from our house to our barn. I got a 150-foot cable. It does come in larger rolls. They even have 250-foot. Hook it up to our Wi-Fi booster. And theoretically, we should get Wi-Fi everywhere in the barn. And we should be able to hook up the cameras in the back of the barn. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Huh? Yeah? Okay, I'm just gonna borrow some hay from over here. Is that okay with you, Theo? Look at, he's literally made a bed. <laughs> like a circle. Like, he, oh my. Theo. <laughs> and now it's from here. Look at that. <gasps> okay. You continue to nap. Okay, now this is the booster that we bought. We bought it quite a while ago and it we've had it hooked up and running. We had originally bought this Wi-Fi booster so that we could have um, Wi-Fi for our security camera for the Christmas tree stand and we never were able to get it hooked up right with the actual router so that we could plug it in at in an outlet at the front of our house and it boost the signal further far enough for the security camera so we ended up using a different route for security cameras so um, this really has just been sitting in the back plugged in I ordered this one specifically because Farmer Brad, I believe, is the YouTube channel. I'll link that below. But anyways, he suggested this one. So I will leave a link. And really, it was super easy to hook it up. I just cannot, for the life of me, figure out how to make it so that you don't need the um, Ethernet cable plugged into the router. I want to be able to plug the Ethernet cable into a PoE adapter to plug in for power, but I don't want to have to have it plugged into our Wi-Fi router. Anyways, I'm not buying a new one. The cable on this one should work. And so that is why we are going this route. Um, so far, the booster has worked well. It has boosted our signal um, on the back of the house. I just need something more. So anyways, that is why we chose this one. So we'll set this in here. Hopefully the wire makes it through the rest of the winter until we can get it buried and stapled up to the wall. Okay, so the Wi-Fi is working out in the barn. Very exciting. So we now have Wi-Fi service out there. We usually have zero service because it's a stone barn. 
with a steel silo and a cement silo and lots of steel siding in some spots and a steel roof. So we are used to no cell phone service, no Wi-Fi. So very exciting. The kids can listen to uh, Pandora and Spotify and audiobooks and you name it, they can listen to it out there. Um, so very, very, very exciting. I feel like we're like just made a huge leap in technology. But our internet, we're still in the middle of nowhere, so our internet is still pretty shaky. So don't be expecting if you're watching from like the city or if you have charter um, internet, spectrum internet, any type of high speed internet, uh, we still are quite a ways away from that. But this is a huge step in the right direction. So now that that is done, it is time to start hooking up the cameras. And this is going to be challenging because the length of the cable, and so the Wi-Fi booster only goes to about a quarter of the way through the barn. So we are going to um, get it as far as it can go. And then we have to hopefully there are not enough walls in the way that the camera still can um, work well like with with service with good enough service with walls in between the booster and the camera I think I have the layout of everything um, figured out so that we should be able to but you just really never know so we're gonna try it we're gonna go for it hopefully it's not too chaotic because when you have three kids a husband involved it can get chaos but and then they're all on devices FaceTiming and everything. So, should be interesting. Enjoy the entertainment. Now we have our camera that we just bought. So I don't, did you ask mom where she wanted to? No. Okay. I think she wants it down there. I think so. We have the Wi-Fi booster in a basket. We're gonna put the camera down at the other end of the barn, but I'm putting it close right now so that I can make sure this, the Wi-Fi booster is working. Is this Mitsu Creek new? No, it's Mitsu Creek Booster. Booster. Because I only have new. Oops. Is there a way to turn this on? Well, it's not flashing green. Is it supposed to? I think so. Where? There's supposed to be like a light on it. Is there a light before? Yeah. yeah. I can hit Mitsu Creek more. It wouldn't be Mitsu Creek now. Alright, so... Mom, can you hear us? Alright, it's plugged in and I'm going to set it right here. So, I'm able to join. <gasps> it just flashed red! I don't know, it looks right, like so it took a picture. Let's go see if it's working. Watch it. Can't join that. Sid, get out of the way. And so now the camera works. We got the camera connected to the internet booster. Plugged in. It's now loading the stream. We can show them. Alright, look at Oh wait. Go, There's wait, 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 wait. A Sid. We can show them if we go like this. Ooh. Oh, that's me. But my phone is over, is not connected to the internet, so. Oh, look, there's that. There we go. Lovely. All right, so we got the camera working. Let's take it down there and make sure it works down there. <laughs> so, I'm plugging here. I guess we'll go see how far it works. No. I don't know. I was going to say something very inspirational, but it didn't quite work. <laughs> Are you still recording? Yes. We got the little light on there. No, I didn't have... <laughs> what? Like, like, once it gets uploading, we, we should like video, have a video of this, and it, like I should act out oh, a bunch of it, and I was like, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I don't have a connection. The connection Ooh, that got failed. really dark. Well, see? It takes pictures. This is offline. It's trying. 
Try trying to reset. It's connecting, it's all on me. The other one's disconnecting too, so. That one is offline. Not fine. So, so maybe. Something is up with our Wi Fi. Maybe it doesn't reach this far. So let's go halfway down the barn and see if it works. Take a chance right, um, on me. This. Take a Walk chance on me. What Owen and the kids don't realize is every time they plug this in and let it sit for about three seconds, by the time they go and unplug it because they haven't seen anything on their phone, um, it finally is hooking up to the system. And so um, I will get an alert and I'll be able to see them unplug it and then it goes black again. So we're going to see how long this lasts before they realize that they just need to give it a little bit more time. What if we, we're going to put it right here? Can you go over more? Which way is over? Over. Like more towards the outer wall. Yep, in there. How about right here? Yeah. Just yeah, a second. Okay, I'll put it there. I'm gonna go get that other pack of screws. Yep. We got the camera hooked up. I should be able to stream on YouTube from that. I don't know if I'll be able to get that figured out this year, but I definitely will for future years. Technically, it should work. I just have to figure it out. But I'm able to see very well in here for the entire pen and for the RAM pen as well. Um, the, I'm able to see from the house the entire thing. So I can check on everybody throughout the night without having to come out here. A gazillion times I'll be able to sleep and then when I wake up in the middle of the night I can check on everybody so it should make life a lot simpler that is very exciting